This tutorial will give you a step-by-step -step lesson on how to initially set up your projectors for use with a Vioso software solution. Make the cable connections from your projector to the PC. Once the connections are made, physically adjust the projectors to fill the entire projection surface with light. It is best to use a test pattern from the PC so that you can see where all the pixels will end up. If you are utilizing display splitters like the Datapath FX4, Matrox, or MST hubs, make the physical connections from the projectors to the display splitter. Then connect the display splitter to the PC. It is important to note that you will want the most amount of pixels on the surface so that you are not throwing away usable data. Focus each individual projector. On extreme angles or curves, prioritize the focus on the fundamental area of the projection or the user area of interest. Check that the system is seeing all your connected displays including a control monitor if being used. You do not have to rearrange the displays, however, it is important if you are utilizing a control monitor that this monitor is set to your main display. Finally, check that the resolution is correct and identical for each projector. If using a display splitter like the Datapath FX4 or Matrox Quad Head to Go, your connected display will show only a single UHD display for every four physical output connections. If you are using Windows 10, make sure that the display scaling and layout is set to 100% for each projector. Open the NVIDIA control panel and click on View System Topology. Locate the corresponding graphics card that is connected to your projectors. It is important to use CDID management in the event you need to disconnect a projector. This will prevent windows from switching around displays or breaking a mosaic. More on that later. Click on the EDID of the first projector. You will export this EDID to a text file to save to the PC. If all of the projectors are exactly the same, you only need to export one of the EDID files. Click on Export EDID and save this to a file. Remember your file location. After hitting Save, then go to the tab, Load. Browse to that same location of the file that you just saved and open it. Again, if all the projectors are identical, check all the projector boxes to load that EDID. It is important to only load EDID files for projectors that are physically connected. There is a digital signature that is not included in the EDID file that tells the system what type of connector is being used. This could cause problems later. Click on the Load EDID button. Your display outputs will flicker and may lose temporary signal. After a few moments all displays will return and you will have a prompt that EDID files have been loaded successfully. Hit OK and close the EDID dialog. Now you will notice that the EDID is displayed as a file. Also there will appear an icon of a display with an E. If projectors are now disconnected, inadvertently or on purpose, the PC will not know and display arrangements will remain. It may be necessary to create a couple of phantom displays. Phantom displays are essential to fill up an odd number of projectors to make use of grid arrangements in NVIDIA Mosaic. To create a phantom display, load an EDID file for an output that is not being used physically. Additionally, you will utilize phantom displays if you are using display splitters like the Datapath FX4 or Matrox, and your physical projector outputs are less than your display splitter outputs. You should refrain from using more than three phantom displays at any time. Open the NVIDIA control panel again, if it is not already open. Click on the Setup Mosaic. Create a new configuration. Choose the number of displays used, this does not include your control monitor, but should include any phantom displays. The topology will be set to the shape that is closest to your projection surface shape. If your screen is a horizontal display, choose the one, by however many displays you have. You will choose this configuration for cylinders as well. If your screen is a vertical blend, choose the number of displays you have, by one. If you're projecting into a dome, choose a grid pattern that closely resembles that of a square. For four displays, choose a 2x2. Two two. If you have an uneven number of displays, choose a grid with the closest number of displays and include any phantom displays. For example a 10 projector dome will be a 3x4 arrangement with two phantom displays. Next, you will select your display outputs. All of the projector timings need to match to create a mosaic. Select the refresh rate that you will want to use and the resolution for each projector. 
then arrange your displays in the order they appear on your projection surface. For domes, arrange this to the best of your ability, but it does not need to be exact. When you are finished hit, apply. Your projectors will flash once again and may lose signal temporarily. This may take a few minutes depending on the number of projectors and their resolution. NVIDIA control panel will ask you if you want to keep the changes, click yes. You will notice that your outputs will look a bit different. All of your projector outputs will be one complete display, this is not as noticeable on dome surfaces. Each output is now assigned a mosaic reference consisting of a number, comma, number. The first number is the GPU assignment, and the second number is the display output. Finally, click Finish. You can confirm the mosaic in the display settings. You will no longer see individual projectors, but rather, a single display output equaling the total resolution of all displays. This is your mosaic. Again, if using Windows 10, make sure that this mosaic is set to scale at only 100%. It is very important to always reboot your PC after creating, editing, or disabling a mosaic. After your PC reboots you are ready to start using Vioso.